So let's talk about window functions. So similarly, as we saw it with the group by down here, we can use window functions to partition our data and also apply a sorting. But we are specifying windows which act as views on our data. So the main difference between a group by and a windowed function is that within a group by we can only apply some aggregation functions and therefore we combine all of the rows within each of the groups into one single row. For example, containing only the, the year as a column and then the, the month and then a couple of aggregations. So each of the groups will be combined into one row. With a window function, however, we specify a view over the data and we have the capability to maintain all of the rows within a window. Now, I want to show you the documentation where we can find window functions. So we go to spark.apache.org and then to the latest release documentation, API docs, and then for Python. And here we can see the API reference. I want to show you the functions object again. You know it already. So within Spark SQL, there are the functions down here. And here we are also, here are the aggregation functions, but there are also window functions. These are functions we can apply on a window. For example, there is a function called row number, which assigns a sequential number starting at one to each of the row in our window. Or there are also functions like lead and lag, which basically returns or pulls the lead or lag row, uh, so a couple of rows above or below the next row, into the current row. And we can specify which columns you would like to see. So these are very interesting functions and we can use them to build powerful use cases, which are applied on top of windows. And windows, as I said, we can look them up here. So in Spark SQL, there are also, let me collapse this one in the documentation, we can also see the window. And w for the window, we can specify a partitioning. So the window will act as a view on the data. So we can partition by columns, a couple of columns. So here we can pass in expressions, column references or whatever. Then we can also order a window within of each groups. So within each, each partition. And there's also a range between and rows between and so on. So it's helpful to read this documentation. I will give you a quick example now how we can use window functions.